multiply by 9 in this case, press enter, and then divide by 19.023, press enter. So 0.15 squared, enter, times 9, enter, divide by 19.023, enter, that will give you your left marker, do the same process for your right marker. Can someone out there give me my left marker please? Sound like little robots, that was crazy. <laughs> point zero one zero six. So point zero one one. Our voltage was given a standard deviation of uh, point one five. You can use that the rounding rule there if you'd like. Point zero one one. Go to one more decimal place. Point zero one zero six, right? Okay. And then this upper one, you're doing the same exact thing, only you're dividing by two point seven. What's the upper range? What is that? 750. 750? It's, 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 However, this is not in volts yet. In order to get something that we really like to deal with, we like to have this in standard deviation. That way the units are the same. And so how do you get from your variance to your standard deviation? So you need to take a square root of those numbers, preferably without rounding it. So if you round them, if you take a square root of that, and you, it's going to be different than a square root of point zero one zero six, which was on your calculator. Are you with me? So when you're going through this, find this number, originally, then take a square root and get the next one. Find this number, then take a square root and get the next one. That way you do both of them at the same time. Do it to round to their decimal place also? Yeah. Okay. It, might, it may work out to the same thing, but there's certain cases where it wouldn't. Can you tell me what you get for your standard deviation? Point zero three. And on the right bound, what, what's that one? That? No. Nope. Which one did you do? Did you do this or did you do the point? Yeah. You did this one? That's what I'm saying. If you if you don't if you try to do a square root of this number right here, it is gonna be off. What you have to do, listen carefully, you have to do this one, do not alter it, then take a square root of it. That will give you the correct thing here. If you don't, if you write it down, they go, oh, I need to find the square root and plug it in again. What have you done? You've just rounded twice, right? That's going to affect it, especially, look at these numbers. I mean, they're to the thousandths. It's going to be off. So make sure you don't do that. Make sure that we're not rounding and then doing the work. Make sure you get it direct from here and direct from here. Is this the correct one getting directly from here? Yes. Okay. Now, this is a little bit more reasonable. Look what it says. It says that our standard deviation was 0.15 volts. Listen carefully to the interpretation here. 0.15 volts. Um, in general, for all of our appliances, we are 95% sure that the, the range in voltage will be either 0.103 to 0.274. That's the most it could range. We're 95% sure that's, that's how much it will range from appliance to appliance. Are you with me on, on what this interpretation is? That's kind of an important thing to know. If, if we were like, well, we can have it less than 0.5 volts, that'll be fine. Then we're okay. And it's like, well, we can't have it range any more than 0.2. We might be in trouble. Now, how we know we're going to be in trouble is by doing the hypothesis test, which is what we're going to talk about right now. How many would feel okay with the table at least? Good, all right. Same idea for common intervals, right? For, with this, it's kind of nice. And once you do that calculation, you're done. You don't have to do any other work.